G'day guys, how you doing? Well, what can I say? The weather is starting to get a lot nicer here in Australia. Uh, I've had a lot of unpleasant weather, um, but it's, it's starting to get quite warm quite early. Um, so yeah, I've been seeing on the news a lot of uh, fires happening all over the world. And I'm actually a little bit concerned um, because if it's starting to warm up a bit now, when summer hits, I think it's going to be an absolute scorcher. Now, I know this isn't a weather channel, <laughs> but it could mean that I'm going to have some more clear skies. The problem with that is that there may be a lot of fires and quite some time ago there was a massive, like pretty much the whole of Australia just about was on fire. And all the fires from like Kangaroo Island um, and everything just blanketed um, South Australia. So when we had some clear skies, couldn't do anything. Um, and not just that, the heat as well. So South Australia is a lot of, it's very dry, um, so it's very dry heat, uh, very different to like, um, you know, Queensland or the top end, um, essentially of Australia, where it's uh, very humid. Um, South Australia, uh, we're quite, quite balanced, um, but yeah, it's a very dry heat and Astro equipment doesn't like being out in the heat. Um, especially cameras. I have had a camera before in the heat um, end up having some serious problems. So it's one thing I might have to, uh, to remember to watch out for. I do generally pack everything up um, after every session, but because the weather's been so nice, I've just left, left them out. I've covered them up, but I've left the triplets out. And, uh, and tonight we're going to be doing some imaging. I don't know exactly how, how clear the night's going to be, but uh, the moon is pretty much in the middle of the, uh, the galactic core um, and we're probably around just a half, about a half moon at the moment. So the sky's still quite bright, but I figured there's still, uh, um, still a great opportunity to do some testing and try and work on my sequences um, a bit better for each instance. Um, so that way uh, we can get some uh, really good imaging. Um, one of the problems I've been having uh, with uh, the flat flats is Rasa 2 up the top here. It, it's been, um, the light's been staying on. I don't know why that is, but the light will stay on. But it won't be a bright light, so it will say go to around about 30% um, brightness for the flats. And then once it's finished doing that, it will turn the light off and it will go down to like 1% or something like that. So I don't know what the story is with that. Um, so what I do is I just come out and unplug the power to the flat panel and plug it back in again and it goes off. But it's not exactly ideal because the whole idea of this is to automate it all. Um, what I do like though is being able to do my flat straight after I do my... Um, uh, my uh, my images, uh, my lights. So um, what I do is I uh, run my um, light sequence, and then after that I run a uh, flats automated flat sequence. Um, so that's really cool to be able to look into the folder where it's all saved to, and you've got your lights and your darks and your dark flats and your, all that sort of stuff. Um, so all yeah, everything's all all done. Um, it's making the uh, astro easier but difficult at the same time because um, even though my calibration frames it's a bit easy to do now it's the whole sequence of it that's making it difficult uh, so it's been a bit of a, a learning curve there anyway I know I'm, uh, I know I'm rambling a bit but um, let's hope that uh, the clouds stay awake tonight and we can get some good testing done some good data and uh, and we'll see. Um, I will run through a normal uh, sequence as well, so it will be uh, red, green, and blue um, at the beginning, 
and once I've uh, finished that and I shoot that for about two hours I'm just grabbing some color data and then we switch over to uh, luminance uh, HA and O3 um, I do have two different types of O3 filters now so I've got the uh, O3 um, beta uh, f2 uh, what is it 4 nm I think it is and uh, and I've noticed recently they've got a, a super green filter which is a beta 3 uh, 9 nm filter so um, I might put that in we'll see I haven't decided yet but uh, yeah we'll find ourselves a, a target to uh, to image have a bit of play do some testing and then see what we uh, we come out with anyway such a beautiful day all right I'll speak to you soon Good morning everyone, um, as you can see the, uh, the clouds rolled in, they, uh, they seem to have rolled in um, or started to come in just as I changed uh, the filters over so I let the system run um, purely because of the sequence side of things just to see what happens so uh, yeah hopefully the, the rest of the session went alright in terms of sequence um, but clearly, data-wise, I'll be throwing a lot of stuff out. Uh, yeah, so there's still a lot to learn, a lot to do with this uh, RASA triplet system um, in automating the whole thing throughout a session, so that way I don't have to be around at all. Uh, but we're slowly progressing anyway. Well, as you can see, I'm pretty tired. I've just woken up. And... Uh, I have to pack the triplets up now and get them inside before it possibly starts raining. We all know what happens then. Alright, 
So um, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Um, if this is the first video you've seen, please check out some others, and if you like them, uh, maybe subscribe. All right, guys, that's it for me. So until next time, take it easy. See you. Thank you.